factories. Byford was hired to shake up the tired old system. He crafted a grand modernization plan that calls for hundreds of station renovations, thousands of new subway cars, and more state-of-the-art computer signal controls that can run trains faster and more frequently. It sounds like you're going for broke. I've said in the past that's what we have to do, not to tweak this system. That It needs way more than that. It needs to be a comprehensive, top-to-bottom modernization of every aspect of our operations. Why shouldn't we be on a par with uh, London, with Hong Kong, with Shanghai, with Singapore? Uh, this is New York, for goodness sake. But the MTA's track record is not world class. Computerizing just one line took about a decade. Byford says with his planned efficiencies, he can upgrade nearly the entire system in that amount of time. And that would be the easy part. The hard part, how to pay for it. He calculates his plan could cost a whopping $40 billion. How are you gonna come up with that kind of money? Well, I mean, I leave that to smarter people than me. I leave that to the politicians. But the politicians are squabbling. New York Mayor Bill de Blasio wants to raise money by taxing millionaires. Governor Andrew Cuomo by charging vehicles squeezing into congested midtown Manhattan. If money and politics weren't enough, Byford says he's going to need a third thing, the patience of New Yorkers who will have to put up with subway lines shutting down for repair. Any one of those things would be next to impossible to achieve. How are you going to achieve all three? by uh, British charm. I'm <laughs> um, it will not be quick, it will not be cheap, and it certainly won't be easy. So my message to New Yorkers is, there's no gain without a bit of pain. This will be worth it.